What is going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? I am David Guy Kicks. Welcome back to another thrifting with the boys. I'm the boys. <laughs> There's just two of us here. Today we're gonna start this video off at a Goodwill and we're gonna go hit up a few other different locations. Actually, we've been pretty, well, I've been pretty consistent on this David Got Kicks channel lately, dude. I'm surprised, it's like. That's good. It's new, David, I'm telling you. Last video, last Friday, we didn't really find anything. Kind of sad, so hopefully this video. But people still liked it, though. Yeah. People still liked it, so at we the, don't have to find things, right? At the end of the day, it makes me happy, too, because I'm bringing out all this content for you guys, for myself. So if we can at least find something cool. I found a Cuban cigar box already. Look at that. Cuban cigars? Are there cigars in there? <laughs> yes <laughs> or no? Fake or real? Fake or real. It's cake. <laughs> Those are illegal. Are they? Yeah. Oh. It has some weight to it. Nope. Empty box. Broken promises and broken dreams. All right, let's go inside. First things first, we're in the shoes and these used to be white. I don't even want to touch them, but they could use a restoration. Second find of the day, what you guys know about these CR7, I don't know what these are called. I think these are like the Mercurial, kind of dope. $15, size nine and a half. Yo, Alex just found the find of a lifetime. Waterburger, the comfy, oversized too. This will keep you so warm in the winter. You have no idea. I'd cop, but I don't like Waterburger. I'm more of an in and out kind of person. Same, if it was in and out, I'd buy this, but can't support this trash. Ooh, I forget the artist name, but this says Los Tiburones. Sharks jersey. Bro, I thought this was a real soccer jersey. It's from Los Altos, cool. MVLA soccer jersey, Monterey Bay Union, FC. Adapt, saucy. And then this is Alex's find. This is such an Etsy shirt. Found this old soccer jersey, but look at the design on here, the texture. That's kind of cool. Only for $7. I'm gonna pass on it though. Guys, we're really trying, but there's literally nothing in the glass case. Nothing worth purchasing. There's this. It's like a Diablo collector's edition. That's kind of cool. Some guest passes in here and stuff. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. I don't even think the game is actually in here. A book. Soundtrack. <laughs> no, mom. But yeah, $64. I don't know if it's going for money. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it's gonna leave this here. Yeah, this is the kind of shoes that are in the glass cases. This. Not okay. Not okay. But we still have the rest of the store, so let's see what else there is. So we got a Thanos mask for Halloween. Stolen Valor. Cowboy hat. Hey! <laughs> Mummy. Bunch of random stuff that they still need to put out. Stranger Things. Bunch of Halloween stuff. After we left the glass case, we found this box. And this box was kind of heavy. Which is kind of surprising because this is the stuff you would see like in the glass case. I don't know why it would be out here. We found a random outlet right here and we're in the middle of the store. Just to make sure it works. Just to make sure. It turns on, uh -huh. which is a good sign. We don't have the monitor or anything to see if it actually works, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. And David's a Nintendo kid, $30. And the fact that it comes with the box too, it's a positive. With everything, lift that up, lift that up. What? It might be missing some stuff. It, it, has, it is missing a couple things, but it has everything that... I don't even know what this is for. Oh, that's for the TV. I don't remember my old one having this, that's why. Oh. It's probably like an, an aftermarket one. It comes with one Wii remote and the sensor bar, which is all you need. Now we need to find Wii Sports and the balance board. <gasps> the balance board. We have to go back <laughs> two videos ago. I have all the games and everything still, but I got rid of my Wii. Oh, your weed. Yeah, we're the, so oh, that's a shot to the heart. <laughs> I know, painful. <laughs> you guys got any kids? You guys got kids? No. Otherwise, because it's fucking... Oh, uh, yeah, that's sick. $7 that's sick. Fucking beautiful. Is it only $7? I think, yeah. What the... I'm too old, so fucking... <laughs> hey, you're never too old. You you're never too old. Wholesome. Wholesome encounter. Yo, Chad, is this real? Did we just find a Wii? W script. This is all scripted. Okay, I actually planted this, but don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> so David's putting everything back now, and I think he's gonna buy it. Packaging is giving him a hard time. You guys wanna see a cool trick though? Show you guys in a little bit. 
Have you ever rode a wave board before? Course, you get wavy, you get down and wavy or no? Of course I did, bro. I know it's a ripstick. Comment down below if you remember when these came out. I remember I was begging my mom for this. They were like 80 bucks back in the day. I didn't know how to ride one, but I got it and I figured it out. You have to, you have to go around the full store. I still got it. Still got it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Man. Have a good day. And just like that, picked up the Wii for thirty dollars and nine cents. I didn't even realize that there's no tax, so it was legit. Only thirty dollars and nine cents. That's a W in my book. Let's just see if it works. And like I said, this was already a great come of thirty bucks for a Wii. But yeah, that's our first stop. Now we're gonna go to a different location. Not really sure yet what's on the way, but let's keep this positivity going. Crossroads. That's the next spot. Crossroads Cross it is. Roadie. Next location, Goodwill. This was on the way to Crossroads and we thought, why not? Would you rock these? Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, I would. Mad brick out here, B. Whole bunch of random stuff here. We've walked around, didn't really find anything though. That location was a little dry and inside of the glass case, we did find another Wii, but it didn't come with the box. We didn't even bother asking how much just because it was all the way back there and we didn't want to bother them. They were kind of busy. I already have one. Why do I need another one, you know? Hand sanitizer is a must whenever yeah. you guys go to Goodwills. It's musty, dusty, and crusty sometimes. Let's go to Crossroads. Alright. That's funny. Why did the dog jump in the pool? So that didn't really go as planned, but good thing we still have crossroads. Let me show you Alex's car real quick, just in case you guys don't know what his Lexus looks like. Saucy. You're not even aired out all the way, huh? No, nah, ride height. Ride height. We made it to the next destination, crossroads. I'm gonna need all your guys' help. If you guys can like this video, maybe you guys can give us a burst of energy and some confidence. Just a little bit of luck will go a long way. We're gonna find something though, I have a good feeling. But. The thing about Crossroads, I don't know if I mentioned, is that some of this stuff is kind of overpriced. So it's like a higher end thrift store. They have these all over, there's some in LA. So for example, sometimes they'll have some like Team Jordans, maybe like some Son of Mars, and they think that it's like retro Jordans and they'd be selling them for the same price. Compared to Goodwill finds where you find a shoe for like less than 20, they'll be selling them here for like a hundred bucks, which is not cool at all. But we'll see, a lot of talking. Now let's do some searching. A6, $28, size 10, not bad. 2016 David for sure would have bought this because of the color. Not no more though. Saucy fine. Official weekend merch, but they're asking $55. This is from After Hours. Look at the back. And it's all in puff print. Super clean condition. Not for 55 bucks though. I think resale might be a little more, but here it's kind of a lot. I'll pass. Jordan hoodie. $32, thick material too. Nothing crazy. Oh. Nice, vintage Jordan from the 2000s. Yo, it's a single stitch. Look at this Nike one, what the heck? Anti-social club, $28 size large. That's cool. Yeah, just a bunch of random stuff. You never know what you're gonna find, I guess. Polo, Ralph Lauren. $24, size XL. This is huge though. Guess hoodie, XL, $22. Vintage Adidas Windbreaker. This looks like it could be from like the 90s or something. $28, XL, this is nice. Got some more sneakers over here. Nothing worth purchasing though. Look what Alex found. It's LV Ting, eh? Exciting, eh? OVO, nice large. How much? 42. 42 is taxing. For used? For used. And I know it's Wednesday, but in my book, it's always Tiffany Tuesday. Look at these Jordan pants. Or Jordan shorts, that's what I meant. Then I found some other Nike cargo pants. These are kind of cool. For $28 though, that's kind of pushing it. Under 20 for sure, cop. They do look nice though, for sure. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm gonna start working on the RAV4 in this. 
We look like a real mechanic. They have the matching sweats for the sweater that we saw earlier. 32 bucks. I mean, they are brand new though. David found his section right here. Oh my goodness. Yo, first things first. Vintage Disney XL $18. This one might be a cop. That one's fire. Bro, I love this. Embroidery. Okay, next. We got the Disney Castle from 1997. 1997. Pretty crispy. Mm -hmm. We have the sweater. This one's a little newer. We got the Mickey pumpkin. Fire. That one's newer. Okay, we got Dopey. 22 bucks. Ooh. Winnie the Pooh and the whole gang. 18 bucks. Eeyore, my spirit animal. 16.50. Wait, I can't see his face. 16.50. We have a newer Indiana Jones one. Winnie the Pooh. This one is dope too. I think the collar's a little too stretched out for me. Hella stretched. Disney Villains. That one's cool. And then this one, probably my favorite, but it's too small. Dude, just the embroidery on here, man. So good. 24 bucks they're asking. But it's really between these two shirts. I don't want to take both because I don't need them. That green, that green's you. It's, it's calling me, right? I feel like white will just get a stain on it, you know? Yeah, I don't look good in white either. I have to, man. This dude's going crazy today. Man's a splurging. <laughs> Yo, I'm happy with this. You know why? Why? Because I bought it with you. Oh, you're going to remember that for the rest of your life. Wait, hold on. You see that over there? <laughs> I love, like, Disney, especially the big Disney embroideries. But this will be the last time that you guys will see Alex for today's video. See you guys next week. Wow, three for three. Three weeks in a row? Pretty freaking good that if you ask me. That is pretty good, man. We need to keep this up. I'm enjoying it. I'm very enjoying it. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Alex, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. That was dumb. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. What? Don't do that. What? That was dumb. Like, don't do that. Listen to me. Don't do not do that. Okay, I won't do that. I, won't. I don't want this. Wait. Just take me home. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you... Why are you being like this? Why are you being like this? I don't like doing these videos, dude. You forced... You literally forced me. I know, I forced and you, I but... And I spend my day doing nothing. I know, I know, I know. I'm just using you. <laughs> <laughs> you turn off the camera, right? I wasn't, I wasn't recording your stupid video anyways. <laughs> okay, I kind of hurt. <laughs> With your baby ass lens. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Pancake lens? You call that a lens? It's a waffle lens. <laughs> you don't even get 2.8 on that thing. Or do you? Wait, are you recording? No. Does it go to 2.8? Oh, it does. What's up, dog? Alright. Stupid. You valid. <laughs>